What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Rising Tides. Today we have our first two games for the series within League Play. I have already played two games. We're going to go over how we did in those matches as well. We also have one of our recording buddies back today and there's another one right around the corner as well on his tower. So hopefully with having an extra man or two that helps us have an edge against our opponents today. But I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and run that intro. All right, so like I said, we were going to come back when we were playing Olbia, and that was going to be the third match of the season within Serie C play, and that means that we've already played two games. How do we do in those two games? We ended up winning both of them fairly comfortably. So the first match that we played was against Pinetto. They were actually a newly promoted side, as was their second match of the season as well. And I was missing the right winger for us for this match, so I had to play Marola, who's a striker at right wing. He actually did pretty well. He had a goal and an assist as well, Capone with a brace. Then the second match was against Rezzo, also a newly promoted side. We also end up beating them 3-0. Capone had two fantastic games for us, one of them being the main goal threat, the other one being a big time playmaker. Sene, one of our lone strikers that we brought in, ended up getting himself on the board with a goal as well. But now that leads us to where we are currently, where we have Olbia coming up as well as Ancona, all within a four day time span of each other. So we will probably see some squad rotation today, most likely for that second game. For the first match, this is going to be the starting 11 that we play. Probably going to be switching up the midfield duo and striker duo for that second match today. And I'm thinking, just thinking, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do it yet. Where are you, sir? Mr. Maruzzi, he's been playing well off the bench. Might start him in that second game. Uh, but against Olbia, we will be playing Milani there at the inverted wingback slot. But now I guess without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the first First match of today's episode. All right, Obia, what do you have up for us? We've got a 4-3-3. We're going to be trigger pressing them, showing them onto that weaker foot with those wing backs. Then winger wise, also the weak foot and Mr. Ragatsu, their striker, also on that weak foot. Might go trigger press on those wingers if we need to, but we're going to see how this goes at first. All right, so here we are, we're at home, and like I said last episode, being that we were in the preliminary round of the Coppa Italia, we didn't really have that many fans at the match, but now we most definitely do. Way more fans at the game, which will definitely help us uh, solidify our stadium kind of as our own little fortress in a way, which I hope that we can do early on solidify it to where we are very very strong at home which through two games we've had one game at home already and then the other one was away won both three nil so that was fantastic Acker narrow going for it from range and that helps win us a corner as well so maybe brasco can bang it in which brasco actually had a goal in the last match i believe it was so our away match against areza or Rezo, it was one of the two. Now, Obia is with the ball. They're playing it pretty well through midfield right now, and this is what I don't really like about the 4-3-3. It is a very, very good and sound and solid tactic as they go right down the right-hand side of the pitch, cut in, and they're up 1-0. So we're definitely going to need to watch that. That was Milani over there on the man as well. Number two, our inverted wingback. And their winger straight up just walked us. What is not ideal is Mr. Pierno, who's actually been pretty solid for us. He has picked up a knock. And last time that happened, not only did our left winger pick up the knock, but then our right winger got hurt. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. So we get two injuries in one game because that was not ideal. Even though we still were competing at a very high level against Spezia, please be on sides. Is it on sides? Yes, it is. Vergani levels it. Great play right there. Absolutely fantastic. Pelicani, he's going to move it off to Francini. Francini back for this game as well. Talia, the Loney, finding Francini, finds Vergani, and we're back level. It's good to see when we do go down against teams that we're basically right back fighting to either get level or go 
and try and get ahead as we see right there immediately after another highlight which is fantastic to see it seems like we're a fairly aggressive side and this 442 definitely helps us um one thing that i'm very happy with so far is us being able to exploit our opponents with the segunda volante the segunda volante has been working very very well for us so far now, Stankovic probably going to be subbed on in the second half in this match so that we can rest Talia a bit because I kind of want to play Talia with Stankovic in our next match, if at all possible. And Vergani with a brace. This time, goal from a corner. Was not expecting that because on the corners, I basically have it set up to where our, uh, our center backs are going to be the main aerial threats, but somehow it finds Regani and he finds the back of the net as well. All right, so 2-1 lead heading into halftime. I don't think we're going to get another highlight there. We're playing solid. Didn't start off too great. Did not start off too great. Got absolutely walked down that right-hand side. But we are doing much better as we are now up 2-1. We had a goal from open play, and then we also had a goal coming from a corner, which I'm hoping our set pieces, how I have it set up, they're, I'm hoping that they are pretty vital to our season. I mean, they have proved so, so far. We have had plenty of goals from free kicks, plenty of goals from corners. Capone and Pen? Penref? That's a pen, right? Because Mr. Vergani got taken down. I don't know who takes our pens. We're about to find out. Francini is this time. Francini slots it to the right. We're up 3-1. Absolutely fantastic. Three games in a row that we have scored three goals. That is absolutely fantastic to see. Had a little scare, though, at the beginning of the game, going down 1-0. Was not expecting that, but we have found our footing, it looks like. We're now at 3-1. We're playing fantastic once again. Mr. Vergani, as of right now, has the highest match rating. He's on an 8.3 on a brace, which is good to see. We can get Tunyov and Ekernero linking up on that left-hand side like they did against the Senna. That'll be awesome. Not the greatest play over to the right-hand side of the pitch there for us. Regatsu slots it bottom right. Pozari, not the best for me, but also not the best from our defense. Just kind of letting him run through. I don't know who was on him in that moment. It was either Pelichani or Mr. Brasco. And I believe it was Pelichani. It was Pelichani. That's unfortunate. Pozari, de he definitely could have gotten a hand to that, man. Like, it, it was like that close. And if he were to just stretch out a tiny bit more, he probably could have saved that. But they're now within one, and I don't like that. We are probably going to have to make a substitution here coming up in a moment. We need to take off Pierno. We're also going to take off Tunyov. So I am thinking of doing a midfield swap as well as our right back. Now at right back... We have Mussolini, who's coming back from an injury, but he is our best bet, so I am going to play him there. Um, and then we are going to go with Mr. Talia. Talia is going to be Mr. Stankovic. And then Tunyov, I think, yeah, we'll go Squizato, although it's telling me Degasso. We'll give, oh yeah, Degasso's actually a pretty young uh, and solid player here for us, so we will give him some playing time. And then, do I want to switch out any wingers? Do I want to switch out a striker? Capone not having the greatest game. Last game, Sene scored a goal, so we'll give Sene a go. And we're going to swap Sene with Vergani. I, I want to swap those sides because they're, they're used to Vergani on that right side now. Let's swap him to the left, see if we can uh, cause a bit of a stir back there for them. Bringing on four, hopefully it pays off. Especially defensively, but also goal scoring wise, as we do bring on a right back, two central midfielders, and a striker. Let's see what Francini can do. Bang that. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Coming off of a rebound off of a corner as well. What a shot. Ekernero whips it in. They clear it out, but Francini finds it and whips it. That was a absolutely fantastic shot right there by Francini loving that he is on a 8.6 now so he's having one heck of a game we got Mr. Pelicani with the ball now up to Sene Sene tried to find Francini unfortunately could not 
Stankovic probably can find anyone he wants to, to be honest, with how he plays. He's really impressed so far. Mr. Mussolini to Pelicani. Pelicani to Brasco. Milani. Sane might be off if he scores here. He might be off. Is he off? He's not off. Awesome. 5-2. It's a gold glut for us. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. We have played very, very well since conceding that first goal. Unfortunately, we did concede another. But I mean, going 1-0 down and scoring 5. This is absolutely fantastic. And I, I was right. It was a tight offside. Thankfully, he was onside, though, as we now know. But he has now scored in back-to-back -back games, so we might need to look to start playing him a bit more because I was looking to play him in the next game as well. Um, but we we will see if I still do do that. I might. Uh, maybe play him with Capone, but Vergani, very solid game here today. Francini on an 8.7, probably going to get the player of the match. He does. Two goals and an assist. Absolutely fantastic game from him. Fantastic game overall. We did very, very well. I mean, we won a possession, more shots, more shots on target. Definitely beat them XG-wise. Although they had two goals on .66 and they had four shots on target. So, thankfully, we didn't get FM, but very, very solid first game of the day. Which, thankfully, with that result, that sees us go right back on top of the league on nine points with a nine goal differential. Spell right behind us by a goal. All right, so now we have Ancona up next, which this is actually a derby match. So, what are the kind of team changes I'm going for with this match? We're going to have Sane up top with Capone. Going to play Stankovic with Tunyov. Mussolini, as well as Pierno, are both injured. I'm still not sure who I really want to play here. Now, Pierno definitely is a little bit more fit than Mussolini, and we can obviously swap like we did last game with them, so I guess we will play Pierno to start things off. But I am going to play Maruzzi at inverted wingback this match just to get him a start, see how he does. And then Mr. Meshik is coming in as well for Pelicani. So... Quite a few different players here within this match, but we're going to see how we do, and hopefully we can go two for two today. Now, Ancona are also playing a 4-3-3, just like our last opponent. So we're basically going to be doing the same thing, trigger pressing and showing on the weaker foot with those wingbacks, the wingers showing them onto the weaker foot, same with the striker as well. And hopefully that helps us lock them down. All right, so... Here we are against Ancona. This is at their ground as well. So hopefully we can perform well away. So far in the league, we have played one away match and we've done all right. The other away match was against Spezia in last episode. We took them to the brink in their Serie B side. So hopefully we can get a good showing here today as well. I know that there has been quite a bit of rotation for this match. But being that we had another game in such a short amount of time, we definitely needed to rotate at least a little bit. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't harm us too, too much. We are going to encourage right here because we definitely need to get a highlight or something going for us. We do have the only shot in the game so far. That was absolutely terrible pass from Akronero. We are used to much better from him. But hopefully we can intercept. There we go. Tunyov, Sene. Capone, Capone slots it bottom left. Let's go. Absolutely fantastic. Sene now setting people up. Sene is doing well. He is doing well. He has scored in back to back games and has now set up a goal in his third game. So that loan is going very well so far. Absolutely love seeing that. All right, we've got Mr. Stankovic going for goal. He hits the post. Stankovic can bang him as we know, on set pieces, especially direct free kicks as he scored one against Spezia, which almost helped, which almost helped us. There we go. I can English uh, take Spezia to extra time. Unfortunately, they ended up uh, converting in the 91st minute, securing a win for them and knocking us out of the Coppa Italia, unfortunately. But we are looking okay with all these changes. Yes, it's only 1-0, 
but we're doing all right. Mr. Pierno is definitely going to need to come off again, uh, looking at his stamina. So hopefully we can get Mr. Mussolini to come on and make a contribution. That would be nice. Sene, look at that run. Telling him, play it forward. I'm faster than everybody else. Unfortunately, he does not have the conviction in front of net to where he could finish that off. That would have been absolutely fantastic if he did and would have made my striker selection even tougher because we have quite a few good uh, players that can play up there for us. But looks like we're going to be going into half up 1-0. I don't know if I'm going to sub off Pierno immediately. We are going to be taking Akinero off this game. Maybe Francini as well. We will see how things go. But we are playing all right. We're up 1-0 after all. I would love to add another goal though, if we can. That would be fantastic just to add some insurance for us. They almost go right down and score though, so that's kind of scary. But Pozari's actually played pretty well for us. Not gonna lie, the two matches that I played to get us to this uh, point before uh, the matches in today's video, he played very, very well. It was back-to-back -back clean sheets, and it, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, now that I've said that word, though, I might have jinxed us, so that would suck if so. But overall, we're playing pretty well. Akronero is having an absolute stinker in this match, though. He's on a 6.2, Francini on a 6.3, so our wingers... Not doing too hot, but we have a free kick here opportunity. Tunyov bang that. Oh, what a save. Stankovic was smart, though, to play that off. He was smart to play that off. Ruzi's going to find Akinero. Over to Tunyov now. Up to Brasco. Brasco finds Stankovic. Turns, shoots, goal. Bingo, bango. Absolutely fantastic. Our ball point defender getting an assist to our Segundo Volante absolutely love this we're playing very very well stankovic if i can make his stay a permanent one for next season i just might find a way to do it i do know that it will cost us a pretty penny to do so though so i might just try and loan him in again all right we are here 65th minute we're going to make a change like i've said ekronero is coming off in this match who comes on for him, though, is going to be Mr. Canjano. He actually has played pretty well uh, in some of these matches so far. Then Francini's done a little bit better, but we definitely, definitely need to take off Mr. Pierno. Mussolini's coming on. Just fresher legs there. Um, but Brasco, you'll stay on. Mr. Francini, I think I am going to take Francini off. It's just... Who do I bring on for Francini? Um, we're going to go with Marola because I've had Marola play here and he's actually played pretty well here, not going to lie. Um, so I think that will be it because Sene and Capone playing well together. Our midfield duo of Tunyov Stankovic also playing well together. So Mussolini, Marola, and Canjiano are all going to be coming on. Those are going to be the switches that we make. And hopefully that can help us get another goal and also help us see out the result in winning fashion. That'd be nice. Stankovic with another free kick opportunity and right over. Now see, when, when he decided to score against Spezia, he shot it to the left past the ball. Now he's trying to curve it over the top, not having that same success. Wow, what a shot by Emmanuel Gatto for them that was a beautiful shot and unfortunately there goes the clean sheet so i shouldn't have said anything but hopefully being that there's a highlight immediately after hopefully we can kind of rebound get a goal make it 3-1 that'd be fantastic because we don't need them getting another goal and bringing this back then that'll be very scary Pozari, where are you playing it you're playing it to mussolini mussolini where are you going with it maruzi meshik Meshik, where are you going? Back to Maruzi. Stankovic. Meshik. Alright, we're kind of playing... We're playing too safe right now. We need to be a tiny bit aggressive. There we go. Everyone's starting to make some runs. Capone. Maruzi. All Mar all right. Maruzi did not get a card for that, thankfully. No foul at all. Ooh! If that is on sides... That's on sides. That was perfect. That was perfectly executed. Sene with two goals absolutely fantastic 
Not not in this game, but two goals on the day. That's absolutely fantastic. Marilla, who is a striker, playing at right midfield. He is very, very solid. I might try and basically train him to where he is perfectly fine playing from that position. That'd be awesome if so, because he is a very, very good contributor from that area. Having a fantastic game is our front two. And Mr. Sene and Capone, both of them on 8.1s. Sene, I believe, though, has an assist and a goal. So he is having one heck of a game. I do think Capone is going to get man of the match, though. A 3-1 dub in our second match today. Absolutely fantastic. We outperformed them. Not by a whole lot. But we definitely outperformed them, and it does show on the score sheet with a 3-1 win. Capone, Stankovic, and Sene with our goals today. Assist-wise, it was Mr. Brasco, Sene, and Mr. Davide Marola. So everyone contributing in any way that they can. And that result sees us stay on top above Spal as well. Same amount of points, but now a two-goal differential. And if the Serie C works the exact same way that the Serie A works, then it is going to come down to kind of head-to-head on how we do against each other. So if we can beat them both times, no matter what the point total is at the end of the season, even if we are tied on points somehow, we would still go up above them if this is how everything holds, of course. All right, so today absolutely fantastic from the side we did very very well we look very very good going forward as well 5-2 win 3-1 win hopefully we can correct those defensive mistakes that we were having and hopefully our keeper can just stretch out that little bit more to make some saves for us but i mean so far we're doing absolutely fantastic only loss that we have so far is against the spezia who's the serie b side within the coppa italia uh, so, I mean, we're, we're doing well. Where I think we're going to return next episode on Friday is going to be Sasena as well as Perugia. Now, Sasena we have already played. We played them in the Coppa Italia, and we ended up beating them 4-1. So, I want to see how we are against them within regular league play. This will be at their stadium as well because we got to play them at home. So, we will see how it goes, but then we will also be playing Perugia who is a very solid side. So two heavy hitters in the Series C next episode. Looking forward to those matches, and hopefully we can keep up our winning ways because in the meantime, those games that I'll have to be playing are against Ramini as well as the Juve Next Gen and Lucese Libertas. So we have two of those games at home. Hopefully we can get wins in both of those. And then hopefully against the Juve next gen, we can also get a result as well, whether that be a draw or even a win. But there we have it for today's episode. I hope you all did enjoy. I'm absolutely loving doing this so far. So if you guys are enjoying it as well, please feel free. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe is 100% free, so why not hit that sub button. Right now on screen, I'm going to be popping up a playlist of all the episodes from this series so far. If you have missed previous episodes, definitely feel free to catch up on them. Or even if this is your first episode that you've seen, definitely feel free to go back and see what you missed so far. But until next time, everyone, have a good one. Bye-bye.